It's me, it's me, it's DDP. No, I wish it was DDP, it's just Son of Scotland 90. It's been a while since I made a video here on Fog Wrestling. Four days, in fact, which simply isn't good enough. So first of all, guys, I need to apologise. Not only have you been set to suffer watching shite wrestling, I've not been here to sit and suffer watching it alongside you, so I. I thought you were going to say shite wrestling fits on this channel for the last four no, days. No, no, no. I would tend to agree with, but... <laughs> Yeah. Minus, yeah, minus 27 out of 10 for Rampage, thoughts? Well, I'm glad I didn't have to watch that Rampage. How do you even get minus 27 out of 10 for a Rampage? I don't know. I know Rampage is bad, like, but minus 27. Reaching. Keith Lee's chins, I thought, nah, I may as well <laughs> throw them in there. How do I not get like, a minus 86 in for me? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, we made a video last week uh, talking about how the women were positioned on SmackDown, who were the top faces and who were the top heels. Well... PW Insider, Elite.com have listed an internal list from the company for both brands and for both divisions, including the men and the women. So since we've already did the SmackDown female one, we thought we'd just do the other three and we'll start in this video with the males on SmackDown following the WWE 2023 draft. So here, we'll start with the baby faces because... I mean, looking at these baby faces, it does make sense. I, I can't argue too much. However, I am a little bit surprised that this guy lost two weeks ago. And we'll cover that right now. But at the baby faces from one down to six. In first place, we have Edge. He has been positioned apparently as a top baby face. Which, when the draft was made, I could definitely see that. He came out, spoke and about how he wanted to be the champion. But then he, he looked really weak in losing the uh, triple threat match. He's so. barely going to be there though. And also, yeah, he lost. And he looked really bad in the ring. Which I guess is no real impact on your stature. Position, like, but... I, I just, for a guy if that... Edge is booked as the number one baby face, does he not win that match? See, for me, right, I f I'm not saying I'm not saying you can't lose a match. Like, I, that, of course you can, right? It's a manner. You, to me, it's more the fact that it's, that it's the first week of shows since the draft came into play and he's lost. Yeah. Like, like see when John Cena got drafted, and I don't know he's champ, but let's say when Cena gets drafted to Raw in 2005... He doesn't have a match that night and lose to Christian. No. That just doesn't fucking happen. Christian! You know, I think, like, the, the first night, I think you're going to, people's going to remember the first result. This was the first SmackDown with the brand new rosters. I think these results matter more than they would any other week. No, and I, Edge I, lost. I agree, yeah. And why did Edge have to take the pinfall? I know Ray takes pins like had, Yeah, a, Ray eats pins like they're nachos, so he could have fucking eaten all of Talking of nachos, there's Doritos in the corner! Uh, coming in at number two, we have Bobby Lashley. Number three, AJ Styles. Number four, we've got Sheamus. Number five, Rey Mysterio. And number six, Santos Escobar. Um, Where's you, LA Knight? He's not a babyface, mate. I'd say he's, I'd say he's a tweener. Wait, wait, is Bobby Lashley a baby face? Apparently so. Is Sheamus really a baby face? Oh, he has a baby face. Well, he's shite whatever way he does. Oh, no, honestly, see Sheamus, 46 year old, born in the tits. Oh, why, why is he feuding me, Austin Fury? But if, if people just like him because he does these big chops and they're like, oh, big meaty chops. Oh, red raw chops. Who, who cares? Look at I mean, look at Bradshaw, right? And like that's like a Japan thing. I but look at Bradshaw when he's stiff. People or, or, or like people like that, like Doctor Death or whatever the fuck, man. See in the attitude, like, no one cared. I like Bradshaw, but let's be real. See when he was uh, bloody cowboy, not not the cowboy when he was. Uh, what's that crew? He was in like ninety uh, seven. Undertaker's we bought, crew. We bought, uh, no, we bought a gun. The Cowboys, whatever they were called, uh, man. No one cared. The new Cowboys. Seamus, oh, he's forty six. Get ready. Oh, him and that, oh. Maybe he delivers it. Maybe he delivers a big chop for each uh, age, each birthday. As Austin Fury said on SmackDown, Sheamus hasn't been relevant since like 2011 when he was like 13. And I was like, you know what? I couldn't fucking agree with that more. Yeah. Uh, so do you agree with that list then? Edge, Bobby Lashley, AJ, Sheamus, Ray, Santos, Escobar. Do you agree with it? And do you think that will... No, I, I, well, do, you, do I agree with it in terms of do I think it's right or do I think it's wrong? As in... No, they've actually got it wrong, or do I agree with the, like, who's actually on it? Because I feel like Santos Escobar will not be sixth place. I don't care who's in the LW. I rate him. Now, he did get the pin on the Usos, so maybe they That's are. pretty big. That is, that pretty is very big, actually. Uh, but you look at the rest of it, like Ray, maybe you're, I accept Ray being on there, but AJ Styles being third, but yet they've gave him the green light to take on Rollins. I disagree with Edge being first, even though Edge is the biggest name. Well, there could be multiple reasons, right? It, it could be perhaps Edge isn't going to be there full time. 
So that's why Edge didn't win. And maybe they're Bobby Lashley positioned to actually challenge Reigns. See if Edge ain't going to be there full time. What's the fucking point of him being there? <laughs> so there's no point, Brock Lesnar. He's retired at SummerSlam. No, what, what's the point? Well, I know I agree. Edge ain't Brock. I, like, I love Edge, but he's not Brock Lesnar. I'd like to see Edge have a full time run, but it's just, I don't think it's going to happen. The Brock Lesnar character works not being there because he doesn't give a fuck. Whereas Edge claims to love wrestling, yet only turns up once in a while, so exactly. it, doesn't, it doesn't really work for him. It comes off. Brock only turns up to bar people. That's, that's kind of what you get. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I, I think what might be ha I can't really explain that Edge loss. It was weird. But with Bobby Lashley, I could certainly see, considering they haven't done Lashley reigns, I could certainly see the reason Lashley didn't win was because they have Lash they, they plan on Lashley facing Reigns. But at the same time, if that's the case, like would you have Lashley lose to AJ Styles in the semi-final match? Wouldn't you have Lashley lose one of the triple threats where he doesn't take the pin? Exactly, yeah. No, no you're right. But I, I don't get why they did that, to be honest. And what's Lashley going to do forward? He wasn't in a triple threat, right? It looks like the Fairy stuff's done. Looks like Fairy Shame is feuding. So what's Bobby Lashley got to look forward to? And Roman Reigns ain't defending the belt because... because no, he's advertised for two tag team matches in a row. But speaking of Roman Reigns, let's move into the top six heels then on the heel side. Da, da. Number one, we have Roman Reigns. Number two, we've got Solo Sokoa. Number three, Austin Fury. Number four, Karrion Cross. I did. Don't. Number five, LA Knight. And number six, Grayson Waller. That is the top six listed heels. Well, if Grayson Waller's below Karrion Cross, what chances he got? I tell you what. I'd be Cross. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I think the heels. You look at the heel roster on SmackDown, actually looks pretty good. No, you're right, but. They're not utilised. No, they're not utilised, but if they are utilised correctly, I. I won't be. Triple H talks a good game, but what, what, no, what's Karrion Cross done? He's never been back here, he's done nothing. Well, I don't really like Karrion Cross, right? LA Knight, right, what's he done? He was he was fucking in a tag team match with Rick Boogs. Oh, but Rick Boogs lost, doesn't matter. Spoiler alert, he beats Rick Boogs next week, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm so wet. Rick, Rick Boogs. <laughs> just I beat Rick Boogs. I'm just letting people know. Well, I'm letting people, they'll find it when they watch the review. Well, see when, see when you look at these top six heels and babyface, you can definitely see SmackDown got the better roster. Like, people are in denial. To say that Raw and all the Raw roster's better. I don't know how Karrion Cross is fourth. Surely the Usos are above Karrion Cross. This was only in the top six. Strange. But there you go, guys. If Usos takes on Karrion Cross, is he losing? Well, probably these days, but... I don't know. Karrion Cross isn't main really... Main event, Jey Uso. Karrion Cross hasn't really What's won... What's Karrion Cross? He hasn't won Saturday many main Slam. Cross. Aye, right, anyway, that's it, guys. There's the last. Let us know what you think down below. Final thoughts. I think it's wrong, but who am I to care? You know what? Just give us good TV and I couldn't care who's in the six. Couldn't care, guys. That's it. Till next time. Peace.